What is up, Matthew Demo here with Friday First Reactions for April 6th. We have 20 new EDM songs across all different subgenres and artists, and then on top of that, we have the brand new Tynan EP to listen to. So let's get right into it with Gassed Up by DJ Snake and Jaws. It's very unexpected. <laughs> DJ Snake is going back to that old school weird underground house stuff. He really wasn't kidding. This is some 150 BPM rave music from, you know, way back in the day, but turned up into a very bassy Jaws style, especially that second drop. All of those basses were very, very Jaws to me. Some of those sounds even came from more of a dubstep realm than even an electro house realm. Even though 150 BPM is sort of the wave that a lot of the LA based artists are going for nowadays, Jaws makes it sound really fresh and really unique to him. I think this track is really fun, especially that second drop. Uh, on me keep playing this all weekend, it's really cool. Next up is Yuki's remix of Another Dimension by Nightmare and Dylan Francis. Oh ho ho! <laughs> yep, yep. This part definitely was not on the original song. Yep. See, now that is a proper Yuki release right there. Crazy, unapologetic, aggressive sounds. I liked how short that interlude was between the two drops. Just kept the energy very high throughout it. For two minutes and 30 seconds, you really can't get much more turned than this. Big fan of the song. Next is the new Tynan EP titled Corruption. I'm gonna be running through all the songs back to back and you guys will hear about the whole project at the end. Oh, Bright Lights. One of my favorite EDM specific vocalists. What the fuck was that? You got seven of these? You got seven of these, Tarnan? Haha! <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, this might be too dirty. I think we've released. What? <laughs> what? What? Tynan, you're crazy. Come on, keep spinning. That might be the rhythm drop of the year. Not gonna lie. I can't believe that. I don't think I can do this again. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, this is gonna be so dirty at festivals. This is... No one's ready for this. No one. Yo, you... Tynan's playing with us now, dude. This is, it's over. But I just wanted you guys to know what sort of setup we got going on with this light. And that's why it falls every <laughs> motherfucking video. These might be three, the three best dubstep songs I've heard all year in a row. This 
It's fair and fair. Oakland can't have both LeBron and Tynan. That's just not fair. You can't have two goats in the same city. That's a super team. That's a super team. You can't have that. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. Not a bad trap effort, actually. Oh, is this the anthem track? Are we gonna get a. Is this the full shebang? Is that a like a square wave LFO on some like synths, some saws? Yep. Okay, Tynan. How'd you do it? <laughs> that is the best dubstep project that's gonna probably come out this year. I love how even though he completely is crushing the dubstep game, uh, Shut Down Feet, Sam King was actually a very interesting uh, trap song. And then Blur had a cool little melodic uh, last drop, kind of wrap up the uh, EP quite nicely. And honestly, the one thing that I, I kind of feel with Tiny songs is even though great sound design, great, great drops, uh, some of the remixes on SoundCloud are a little really too harsh to listen to on a day-to-day -day basis. I could see myself listening to a lot of these on the regular, so Tynan, you're officially transcended, right up there with Eptic and Space Laces, Excision, etc. Not much else to say, I'm, I'm super happy. Next up is Prayer Hands by A-Track and Yeah Me Too. Drums just made this way too much like the Macarena. I like the Moombatone drum pattern actually better for this song. This is definitely a fun, interesting song. Nothing to take too seriously, however. It was a little bit too much repetitive. Um, doesn't have that stroke of genius that other fun, wacky songs, sort of like Barbra Streisand or even Dumbo with Bauer is a little bit more silly and a little bit more brilliant than this. It's a little bit too bare and just didn't really hold my interest that long. Next up is Take Me by Andrew Luce and Alexander Lewis. Ooh. Uh. Really just Andrew Luce at his best, just very clean, trapped drums, and pretty vocals, pretty leads. On the first listen, I definitely haven't fallen in love with it 100%. However, uh, I can see the song growing me on a lot. Next up is One Kiss by Dylan Francis featuring Dua Lipa. Hey, it's a house joint. We back. Kevin Harris is back with this bitch. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is the hook. Oh my goodness. One thing I like about Dua Lipa's voice on these house joints is sort of like Ellie Goulding from a couple years ago. She has that coarseness in her voice, a little bit of soul, which really drives in that feeling that you really want to get from a groovy house song like this. And then also Calvin Harris had a couple surprise uh, horns, keys, and just other small elements that I didn't expect out of him. Definitely something you can tell the Uber to play while you're headed into the city on a Friday night. Just a dope, intoxicating house song. Next up is Deuce by Chami and Mala. Mean sub. Yup, that progression is good too. Honestly, that's one of my more favorite Jami Mala tracks. I think that song had a nice groove to it. All the elements on the track were all very necessary and executed very well, which is sort of the staple for these minimal house tracks that Jami and Mala like to make. Next up is Runaway by Cruella. Who's producing Crowell's music nowadays? It's not their brother, right? Yep. 
this isn't bad, this isn't bad. I wish that bass line was a little bit more prominent in the mix. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is this the same sense of ghost voices? Either way, they're very pretty. If you're a Koala fan, you're gonna really like the song. I'm a little lukewarm on the song. I did like the synths in the second half of the second drop. Uh, better than that, just a little too standard, just a little too cliche for me. Next up is It's Time by Stevie Aoki and Laidback Luke featuring Bruce Buffer. Oh, this is clever. <laughs> this is the silliest thing I've ever heard. It's like circus music. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. This song is actually not too bad. I kind of liked the skit with Bruce Buffer counting them down. I mean, it is cheesy, however. I don't know, I could, I could see you being fucked up and actually really enjoying this. And then the lead melody on the drop is also kind of like a circus sounding song, especially on that high tempo. I don't know, it kind of comes together to make a very interesting energy of a song. I'm definitely not gonna be listening to the song ever again, however, not necessarily a huge ear sore either. Next up is Bourgeois' remix of Friends by Marshmallow. I know exactly what this is gonna be, but I'm not mad. Too bad it's not 2015. First of all, I do like this vocal with this sort of beat. Not too much to hate if you like this kind of music. If you like Deep House from that 2015, 2016, it's definitely up your alley. Next up is Help Me Out by Oki. <laughs> yeah. It's very standard. Okay, so you know what this sounds like? This sounds like a demo to a marshmallow song. Unless you're a big fan of that okay marshmallow style, this is not the best example of that style of music, and it sounds a little bit demo y to me. The lead is just uninteresting, along with a lot of the other elements of the song. Definitely not my favorite. Next is Faces by Felix Cartel and Veronica. So, you're just releasing one of these kind of songs every week, Felix Cartel? Am I being played? Every week, the hooks for these songs keep getting weaker and weaker. Hey. Yup. That pluck is getting it done right now. Super smooth and buttery track by Felix Cartal. I could see a lot of people that aren't necessarily in the EDM sphere really getting along with the song. I want to actually break down the production of the song because it really is one of the smoother tracks I've heard this year. This song actually has quite a bit of potential. Might be one of my favorites. Next up is Hands Up by Merck and Cremont. Hey. What is this, Mercremont? <laughs> Why is Merc and Cremont making Maroon 5 music? Oh no. Oh no. Mercremont, I hate you guys. Next up is We Do by Rehab, Noah Nyman, and Miranda Glory. Huh. I just don't like how airy some of these future bass vocals are. Like, they don't hit you quite like some other vocals. For two minutes, it's not a bad display of Rehab's ability to make future bass. Will it go? Will it not go? I'm the person to ask my barometer for Future bass seems to be rather off. Even then, I'm still just lukewarm on the song as a whole. Next up is Move Back by Slander and Wave Dash. Uh, sir? What is this? Oh, here's the drop. That was confusing. Bet. Oh.
After hearing Tynan's EP, I'm a little bit whitewashed and more standard rhythm at the moment. I think if you're a rhythm fan, you'll like it. If you're not, I don't think this is a necessarily introductory song to you. I'm gonna say this song is probably not my favorite. Somewhat forgettable, especially from Slender, who I look to to have a little bit more memorable releases. Next up is Lose My Mind by Chris Lake. This beat. This beat uh huh. Yep, I get it. This vocal distortion is done. Ooh! This hi hat pattern is making me lose my mind. Wish it had a little bit more groove to it. Like, I love this hi hat pattern. If that was the initial part of the first drop, I would have been sold. Oh, what? Huh. Uh. Mmm. Chris Lake, Lose My Mind. It just needed a little bit more oomph for me to really get into it. it didn't have that groove factor quite like some of the other songs we heard today, like the Mull and Shami song or the Calvin Harris song. It was close. I'm looking forward to maybe a remix or two coming out that I'm gonna really enjoy. Not a bad track, but not my favorite either. Next up is Sahara by Kashmir and Reggae Tune. For like a movie soundtrack or something. Ooh! Unless you're a huge Cashmere stan, uh, the song isn't really that amazing. Really, it's just what Cashmere sort of does. Has those Middle Eastern inspired melodies and sounds, and then then crafts it into a very big house track. Not the best Cashmere song I've heard by far, so. Pretty underwhelmed on this song. Next up is I Want to Show You by AC Slater. He's groovy. Ooh. Kick. <laughs> oh. Woo. Piano's dope too. This is a big surprise. I'm glad the song's four minutes long. Like, it goes. Whether it's the piano elements, the vocal chops in there, everything just came together really well. A super, super danceable house track. Shout out to AC Slater, because I usually do not love these G House, Night Bass, whatever you want to call it kind of songs, but I like this song a lot. Next up is Let's Dance by Steve Darko and So Meta. <laughs> Great, dark, and grimy house song by Steve Darko and So Meta. If you're a fan of Angels, Drezzo, or even Matroda, I definitely recommend if you like any of those artists to check out the song. I think it would be right up your guys' alley. I like the song a lot. Last song is Broken Glass by, I'm gonna read the name out loud, Lugovisky Lugo and Chris Calvert. Wow. Wow. Woo! Dude, this is... This is lounge house at its best. It's a good sign that I'm not even done listening to the song for the first time and I already want to try to sing along to it. Well, most songs in the EDM sphere try to hit you with the drop like a sledgehammer nowadays. This is literally like someone like dropping a tissue on your, your shoulder. The song is so delicate, even to the point where it's almost a little sexual, really sets that mood actually, just based on the vibe alone, not even necessarily the content of the vocals or anything like that. Shout out to Lugo, Lugo, Lugovsky. Shout out to Mike Lazowski and Chris Calvert. What was your guys' favorite tracks of the week? I'll just name a couple of mine right now. In no particular order, Gassed Up by Jaws and DJ Snake. Really fun, high tempo song. I love the second drop still. I think it's gonna be super, super fun to dance to. I'm really interested to see this song at festivals just to see how the crowd reacts because it's fairly new, but also I can see it being very effective. Next is Stigmata by Tynan, just one of the crazier songs from that EP. Next is One Kiss by Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa, just a great nightclub anthem. I like this song also just a lot more than the Party Next Door joint, which was just super disappointing. So I'm happy Calvin Harris is back on that track. 
making some great, great summer joints. Number four is Yuki's remix of Another Dimension by Dylan Francis and Nightmare. Just Yuki really executing on that level that I expect him to. Just crazy fun party sounds and just unapologetically in your face. Then lastly, I wanna show you by AC Slater. As far as a four minute house joint, you can't get much better than this. That bass line just really hits you in your chest and just makes you wanna move. Big fan of this song. For my least favorite tracks of the week, I'm gonna have to go with A-Track and Yami 2's song, Prayer Hands. Just remind me a little bit too much of Macarena and sort of other corny songs like that. I'm not saying you can't go after the sound and try to make these sort of songs. However, I'm gonna clown them if they're not executed very well. Number two, Help Me Out by OK. It's a little too bare bones. I already know OK can make this kind of song, so I'm just expecting a little bit more on the execution side from OK. Number three is Hands Up by American Cremont. Sounds like some One Direction throwaway or some Maroon 5 throwaway. It's just straight garbage. Then lastly, Sahara by Kashmir and Reggae Tune. Overall, just an underwhelming track by Kashmir. Not necessarily terrible, but I hold Kashmir to the highest production regard, almost like Kanye West in music, where I just expect him to really crush it with production every single time. And this definitely just was not anything very special. So those are my favorites, those are my least favorites. What did you guys think of these songs this week? Did I miss any songs? Comment below if I did. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. This has been Friday First Reaction for April 6th. I'll see you guys next time.